love you too much Hey you guys, so I am back with a comparison video. I like comparison videos. I like using a lot of products on my hair and it don't be working. <laughs> okay, Vivian. Um, so I'm going to be comparing Mish Hydrating and Twisting Butter with the Melanin Long Lasting Definition. These are very, very creamy stylers. However, I find that especially with her, that I require something that, I require a little bit more hold, okay? So I'm gonna be pairing both products with Extreme Wet Line Gel, only using a little bit. Now, the, the thing with this gel is that it provides hold without the flakiness and the dryness that alcohol-based, um, excuse the background, that alcohol-based gels do, okay? Um, so we're gonna be doing a regular old twist out, nothing fancy. My hair was washed two days ago. I put it in these goody stretchy bands to kind of allow it to stretch some, but I know I'm gonna get uh, quite a bit of shrinkage. Yeah, um, let's just go ahead and get started. Now we're gonna, we're gonna do a comparison on my hand here of both products. Now this is gonna be the Mish, and this is going to be Melanin. Now, the again this is mish and this is melanin i know you guys really can't see that that well excuse me the mish is a little bit more creamier as far as consistency goes the melanin product has a little bit more texture to it it's still creamy but a little bit more texture so we're gonna do the mish on this side and the melanin on this side now all right you guys so i'm beginning to unravel my hair i will be moisturizing my hair before applying this styler not going to reveal the leave-in conditioner i'm using just to stay neutral um and again because this is, this is a comparison of the stylers themselves so starting off with the mish using quite a bit on a medium sized section and then going on with the gel. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to uh, make these as tight as possible, the twist as tight as possible to get super defined twist out. And then we're gonna do hanging band two knots towards the end. This is the melanin hair care side. Again, going in with the styler and a little bit of gel. Uh, real quick, that is not a bald spot, girl. I, I, yeah, it's just how my hair is separated. <laughs> anyway, um, again, I prefer the melanin hair care styler as a leave-in conditioner. Um, just because the simple fact that I always have to pair it with a gel or another product for hold. So this is what my hair looks like set. I have about, I would guess, 20 to 25 twists. I did allow them to set for about two days, adding a little bit more oil to my scalp. And we're going to come back and unravel. All right, you guys, this is two days later. Can you tell the shrinkage? Can you see on the mesh side compared to the melanin hair care? And this is what it looks like unraveled. Look at the difference. Even the mesh side is a little bit more defined than the melanin hair care side. So I'm going to start to unravel and separate. Um, and yeah, we're gonna see what the results are gonna be like. <music>
So we are all unraveled. Here is the crown of my hair. Here is the mesh side. See the definition, yet the shrinkage. Here is the melanin hair care side, a little bit looser and a little bit longer. look and honestly if you didn't know you couldn't tell that I used two different stylers however there are some differences for the niche it did have some shrinkage but it was more defined and less frizzier for those reasons alone I'm gonna have to go with the niche side as opposed to the melanin hair care okay so definition for both on point um, I had a little bit more shrinkage with um, God, I forgot. I have more shrinkage on this side. Um, it, right now it doesn't look like it, but I, yeah. It boils down to, honestly, is how long am I gonna get a wear from, uh, which product am I gonna get the longest wear? Because it's getting a little bit more frizzier on this side, it will probably last a little bit longer on the niche section. You can even see underneath here, basically the ends, the difference. If I turn to the side here, even the back and then if I turn to the side over on this section see the frigginess here now I did properly moisturize my hair with a leave-in conditioner that we ain't gonna name just to remain neutral but yeah this is what again definition is on point for both um, I don't feel like I got extra shyness or anything. I honestly um, prefer the melanin hair care as a leave-in because I always have to pair it with something. I've been using the Mish styler for a while. I don't necessarily have to pair it. And honestly, truth be told, I probably didn't have to use the gel because, but because I used the gel with the melanin, I wanted to make sure that I used it with this particular product also. So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and thank you as always to all my subscribers. Take care. Bye.